And what we want to do now is set up our syndication. So we've got all of this good quality rich content. We now need to think about let's take this content and even when we built the product phase, I talked about splitting out the audio and getting it transcribed and getting the video, all of these bits, these raw assets we've got, we're now going to be able to repurpose. So the way that I like to think about it is if you haven't got a blog, you, you really need a blog. So I'd set up a, a blog that's kind of like step one. Uh, then for your social media, um, you want to look at uh, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, LinkedIn, maybe LinkedIn. It kind of depends on your niche. I'd say you really want to be operating in at least three social spaces. So if you haven't uh, yet sort of set up some social platforms, just pick out the ones that make most sense for your business. So let's put social up the side here. So we've got uh, Twitter, Facebook, um, potentially G+. Uh, there might be some other ones as well, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Instagram. For, for certain industries, things like Instagram and Pinterest is really good uh, as well for in e-commerce business, particularly uh, things where it's very visual. Um, there's a lot of people and, and there's a lot of commercial sort of intent behind searches on Pinterest. But just pick out the ones that make most sense. Not everyone is going to make sense for you and you can scribble down them in your book. Just think about where's your market? and you want to be there with the right message tailored to that particular platform. And then YouTube, you know how I feel about YouTube, love YouTube. Um, so uh, we'll also end up putting some YouTube here, but we need to set up the platforms. So just list out on your sheet there which platforms you need to play in with your social. Everybody needs a YouTube, everybody needs a blog. Social might vary slightly. And then I would set up SlideShare, DocStock and Visually uh, because you're creating the content anyway. It's very little effort to then take it and then repost it over there. You'll see how that all works when we kind of move through the different uh, platforms. So then what you want to do is you want to make all of your uh, social platforms or really all any of these profiles like we talked about all of the different platforms that we'll be looking at you know visual uh, LY um, and uh, Pinterest and Instagram and some of these ones and just make them look really good so fill out all of the relevant content you can if there's the opportunity to link back to your website link back to your website if there's opportunity to link to other social accounts link to other social accounts um, when we used to think about feeder sites and all that sort of stuff, that's old SEO, and um, we used to think about, oh, we don't want to link them together because we don't want Google to know that these are all tied together. But this is a little bit different. Where we can, we want all of them to kind of leverage off each other. So take the time to go through and fill them out really well. So that's a client of ours, Susan Alexander, who we just went through and uh, updated all of hers a little while ago. So the ground rules for these is no matter what platform we're working on, any of those platforms that I talked about right at the start, the aim of the game for those platforms is to lead them back to your site. Again, I talked about this idea of the breadcrumbs le leading you back to the cake. I don't know if you remember that. Um, so really, these platforms, it's almost like breadcrumbs all over the, the web. And we want to make sure that we're always leading them back to us. So when I create a video and I upload it to YouTube, I finish with a strong call to action and I have a link inside my description. Because the aim of the game is I don't want them playing on YouTube, I want them playing on my website. I'll give them relevant content, but I want to make it easy for them to get back to me. So you, you're obviously linking back and we want to try and get engagement and click through and then some gentle optimization. So what I mean here is when you're posting content onto some of these different platforms, just, in fact, I even talk a little bit about what gentle optimization is, um, is thinking about the user first. Don't, uh, don't think about trying to shove a keyword in just because of the sake of it or trying to put the link right up, up front. Um, sometimes you do do it, sometimes you don't, but if it takes away from the user interaction, then you're going about it the wrong way. Thank <laughs> you.